I mean. Hey. How are you feeling? Like I got hit by a bus. <laughs> the physical shit's healed now, it's just left over exhaustion. My, my magic, it's, I don't know, it'll come back. I knew what I was doing when I had Scorpius use me instead. Whatever happens, I'll live with it. Your family, Milo. Nothing changes that. Magic or not, you're one of us. The best of us. <laughs> if you say so, boss. Making some food. They, they should be back soon. Damn, they had to kick him out to keep him from fussing over me. <laughs> and from, uh, from reading me the absolute riot acts <laughs> for doing this without telling them. Though they. held off on that part until I was uh, stable through no small effort I'm sure <laughs> they did good I don't think I could have done that without them they said you killed Vincent first and then he got what he deserved I searched the place after I took him out there were people there downstairs locked away in little rooms one of them said that they'd been there for over a year the thrall that he kept around for blood and god knows what else Christian and Miguel helped me get them to the healers fucker needed to die. They both did. I'm sorry we didn't get there sooner, but it's my fucking fault. You guys got there in time. Don't beat yourself up about that. I... I should have known better. I... I, I just... stand there and let you do that. I I couldn't my alone don't no no hear me out I I know what I'm good at. I know what I can do. But I also know what I can't do. 
I've got a temper. I'm impulsive. I I feel things deep. And I let those feelings color everything I do. The good and the bad. I can't lead this pack like you do. You make all these plans and you think ahead you, you know how to take a hit today to have a chance to get one back tomorrow you were the one that needed to make it out of this okay I can be a punching bag I I can, I can lose things without, um, without tearing the pack apart. And that couldn't happen to you. I, I wouldn't let you do that to yourself. This pack needs you. We need our alpha, and that's you. Ash, why are you still calling us the shore pack? thing we've needed and all of this was more chaos it's simpler this way Asher what you know that's not why if it's the reason I give then that should be reason enough you're our alpha now we're behind you. We're with you. We, we trust you. We would answer to your name. The Shaws made this pack. I just inherited it. Yeah, and you've led us ever since. You've kept us alive. You've kept us safe. You've been the shoulders we lean on. And the voice that we rally behind. You've taken care of us. And you've fought for a future for all of us. We would wear your name with pride. I want you to wear a name that matters. You do matter, Ash. You can't, you can't keep comparing yourself to a memory. You're always going to come up short. That's just how memories are. When you love somebody that much, it's easy to just remember them at their best. David was at his best a lot, but he wasn't perfect. You can't expect yourself to be. It's not about comparison. I know what I am. I'm a competent alpha. I give myself that. You all honor me when you say you'd carry my name, but I don't need to be honored. I'm still here. I don't need to be remembered. They do. He does. 
I'm not ready to give up his name. Maybe Alexis was right. Maybe that means the title Alpha rings a little hollow when it's attached to me, but I don't care. of him left, Milo. His jacket. His old wallet. Some pictures of him saved on a phone. And he fucking hated having his picture taken. <laughs> People should have to keep saying his name. When I say he was my mate. My core stays dark. And there isn't that tingle. My threads don't strum. The magic in that word died that night with him. I'm never gonna feel that again. When I say we're the Shaw Pack, it's not the same, it's not what that was, but it's something. It's a human kind of warmth. It's... It's a reminder that... That that, at least, doesn't have to have died that night, too. And I don't care if it makes people outside of our pack think I'm a weaker leader. Because it's not for them. It's for us. And it's for me. Come here. Why? Because if I get up out of this bed, you're gonna yell at me. But I'll be damned if I don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> you to take anybody with you. Am I? No. Yeah. I love you, Ash. Please come home.
you say? I am. I've got to get going. Starlight. What is it? When, what did you see? What? Hey. Come on. Vega. What the hell are you doing? At the moment, I'm trying to reach the main courtyard where everyone else is waiting. Oh, just that simple, is it? You asked a question, and that's the truth. We're really going to start talking about truth? What is this? Where are you going to lead all these people? The Imperium Spire. To finish this. We don't have enough forces yet. You know that. I know that we are out of time. And while we may not have had enough demons to finish this job, that's not a problem anymore. Thanks to the free vampires. I saw to that. You did that? I did what you couldn't. And that's what I'm doing now. You are needed, Avier. Your decisions have gotten us this far. And we'll need your wisdom to rebuild in the wake of this. But this strike needs to happen now. You aren't prepared to make that choice. I am. I am not going to let you do this. The McKinley demons aren't here yet. Your allies that you're using to make up for them are complete wild cards that you can't control. The Shaw Pack still haven't reached the Invoker yet. Those wolves' folly is irrelevant. Even if they could succeed, it wouldn't be in time. We will have to fight the Imperium's forces. That's unavoidable then all the more reason to wait until we have enough forces to stand a chance against them. We attack now with the element of surprise, or we hide out in this hovel until the Imperium realizes we pose a threat and throws everything they have at us. Time is not on our side, Avier. A sustained conflict will end this world. Imagine how much magic would be expended in a protracted 
rebellion. The meridian would collapse long before either side gained an advantage. We hit them now. Catch them off guard and destroy their council and their king. The Imperium will be thrown into chaos. They won't be able to mount a proper response. That is how we seize control and stand some chance, however small, of instituting change in time to save the Meridian. You can't trust these forces you've brought here to care about any of that. I don't need to trust them. If they act out, I'll control them, or destroy them. These are people, not chess pieces. Bold words from a strategist. This isn't even about morality, it's about logistics. You can't control that many variables. You underestimate me. And you mischaracterize me. I am not letting you do this. You are not going to destroy this world's only chance of being saved because of some power fantasy vanity project. You won't succeed. Oh, really? Yes. Really. I won't fight you, Avier. Whether you choose to believe it or not, you have my respect. I won't harm you, but I will remove you. And you think you can do that without fighting? Yes, because I'm sending you back to Aria. What? You will be safe there. And more importantly, you won't be able to interfere. No one on this plane can create the rifts between worlds. Only the chorus has that power. Wrong. It's not a question of ability. It's a question of knowledge. Knowledge they refuse to share, but that anyone can learn with proper training. If you could have left at any time, if you could have been home, why didn't you go? For this, for the destruction of this Imperium, the Sovereigns deserve their fate. Humanity doesn't. Nor do our kin who've been abandoned to this place. I'm patient and well equipped to exist in a world that delights in suffering. I just needed time and the foresight to see this through to the end. Pain in the short term is meaningless in the long run. And the long run is the only thing that matters to me. Vega, don't do this. Please. We'll see each other again soon, Avier. Either when this succeeds and I retrieve you, or if it fails and the meridian falls and all demon kind is reunited again.
Starlight, no. No, stay back. Heed him, human. Stay back. If you're too close, this rift will pull you in as well. And you won't survive where it leads. Don't do this. Goodbye, Avier. No! Necessary death, but I won't let it be in vain. to explain all this commotion? King Imperial, we're under attack. What? By who? There's a force of demons and vampires that are storming the spire. They're already under the grounds. Our physical defenses aren't slowing them down. Then where are my legions? They're coming, but it's going to take time for them to get here. All we have are the forces that are regularly stationed here. Here at the most important building in the Imperium. They're supposed to be the best that we have. How is some crowd of rebel vampires and demons making this kind of headway? It's not just a few people, sir. It's, it's a whole striking force. They came from the Academy and all communications there have gone dark. The, the same thing happened at the Havens in McKinley, Borden, a handful of the other Cornerstone cities. We've lost contact with almost every Haven in the Imperium. Have local forces in all of those areas lock down those Havens. We are not losing control of this situation. And get me an ETA on all the reinforcements headed here. Pull every person we've got in Dahlia. I don't care where they're stationed. Nowhere is more important than here, right now. King Imperial, we have to get you out of here. You and the ruling council. We are not running. That is exactly what they want, and I will not give it to them. Any member of the council that abandons their post won't live to regret the decision. Sir. You have your orders. Now follow them. Yes, sir. They've broken through the west gate. Recruit at the atrium. Pull forces from wherever you have to. This is an aria. There's, there's no way it's changed like this. And, and if it was aria, you, you, you couldn't exist right now, Starlight. And I'd be in my astral form, not, not my physical one. What is this? This place, every atom of it, it's 
all of this is magic. I feel it. It, it feels... I don't, I don't know. It's not arcana. It, it's not pure magic like Arya is made of. If it was, you couldn't be in contact with it. P pure magic destroys everything physical. I couldn't exist in my physical form either. I, I already would have been changed into my astral state. But this doesn't feel like magic in the transformed way that humans can use either. Rifts only go between Arya and Elegy. And it's instant, more or less, anyway. This. This shouldn't be possible. We're somewhere. between. And the only thing between Arya and Elegy. The meridian. <laughs> Fuck. We have to get out of here. We have to. We have to go back. If we are stuck in the middle somehow, then. Then maybe these. These tears, these. These voids, maybe, maybe they're a way out. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. That, that doesn't mean to shove your hand in there. We know practically nothing about what any of this is. All we've got are guesses and, and feelings. I, <laughs> No, I, I don't know what else to do, but, but I really don't think that, that means we should just jump head first into the first idea we come up with. What the hell is that? Whatever it is, it's getting worse. All right. All right, maybe... We don't have time to think this through. Fuck. All right, which which one do we pick? Well, what if these are ways out? If if any of them lead to Arya, you won't survive that. Are we just supposed to guess? How, how are we supposed to? Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
know you're in there. I know you can hear me. Open the door. Those were all the defenders you had. A handful of vamps that were already trying to leave. What are you afraid of? One wolf? Isn't that nothing to you? Whatever the fuck you are. Answer me. Breakium.